the real reason you won't trust God? I mean, let's really get into it and see some of the real reasons why we choose not to trust him. My name is Sandra, the Action is with Inspire for Purpose, and thank you for joining me today to really get down to the root of the issue as to why we don't trust God. Perhaps you don't trust God because you're afraid to. Perhaps you feel that, you know, if he fixes your problems, you're going to owe him something. I mean, think about it. You've probably forged some bulletproof plan in your mind and you're going to put it into action and you think it's really going to work. And then when it doesn't, you feel betrayed. Like, why didn't he allow it to work for you? Now, others may be at their wit's end and so tired of just trying to figure it out that they truly may not care. They just want God to fix it all. Perhaps you're just irritated at everything that surrounds you. You're frustrated. Your plate is overflowing with yet another thing. And you don't want to put another thing on your plate because if you do, you are going to explode and you want him to fix it, but you just don't know how to go about asking him to do it for you or thinking perhaps that it won't be done in the right timing. Plus, you know that God's going to probably want something from you. Yep, he has a quid pro quo relationship. If you don't believe me, check out Deuteronomy 28. Let's face it, we all have these times in our lives and we want God to fix our problems, but we're not really ready to commit to and give back to him the things that he's giving unto us. It may cost you something in the end, but the rate of return on the investment that you will give unto God when you decide to trust him will be far greater than the agony and the pain and the confusion that you're feeling now. Things that you didn't know about yourself may actually come to light and perhaps that's what you're afraid of because God will perhaps maybe convict you of something to make you do something right within yourself to be better because he knows that you can be. I mean, who really wants the headaches of God answering our prayers, right? Who really wants him to really fix all of our problems and clean up all of our messes and provide the exact solution to all of our issues? I mean, let's be honest, sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. Don't get me wrong. It's good to give back. And I understand where you're coming from and the fear that you may have because you may feel like you don't have it all worked out and that you have nothing to give God. Well, let me tell you how you can pay it forward. You can pay it forward unto God by giving your love, your time, and your obedience to him. That's all he wants. And then he wants you to simply give that unto someone else because you have to pay it forward so that they can also reap the benefits. I tell you, when you do this, your baskets will overflow with exceedingly and abundant gifts, more than you could even ever ask or think of. He will simply blow your mind to the greatest level of greatness that you could possibly imagine. I'm telling you, friend, It can't get any better than this. So today, choose to trust in God a little more and experience the new design that he has for your life. And you will yield a greater return on your investment, a greater return on your power of strength, of love, compassion, and simply just a sound mind. You'll be able to live in the peace that surpasses all understanding. So today, give God a chance and simply trust him. Thank you for joining me. See Andrew the app.